Here we are in the middle of the Christmas and New Year break. Hopefully you had a good one. Just as we are on the cusp of ending 2020 and New Year's tonight, there's a brand spanking new next-gen patch. Yes, Dirt 5, the one that's most lauded, most requested, has now landed. Version 2.0 lands on all next-generation consoles. This video is not going to touch the old gen. I've done that before. This isn't centred around those versions. If you want to find how they run, how they look, how they differ, then go and check out my other video link on screen and below. This is just centred on the update of the patch that I covered a few weeks back before Christmas and it was quite telling there was quite a big delta between the Series X and the PS5 here this patch does what they promised it improves everything for the Xbox players but obviously I've heard rumours I've been asked to look at it because it affects the PS5 and I can confirm there is a small issue there that I'll touch on in the video, but certainly overall, if you're an Xbox player, download this patch and check it out. It's a smaller patch on the PS5, it's around 4 gig and around 7.9 gig on the Xbox console. It specifically targets the 120 FPS high frame rate mode, but actually it's approved across the board. They've made some changes to the overall engine and how they're using the features of the Series X and the Series S. So, what are the updates, what are the changes and how does it all differ? Well, looking at the Series X and the PS5, what do we see in that 120 FPS mode. Well, last time, as I covered, briefly touching on here, there was a big sacrifice on the Series X. It was lost. It lost all the tessellation. Uh, it lost all of the parallax occlusion mapping. All the normal maps were cut back. The filtering was much lower. The geometry was cut right back to the lowest quality. And the PS5 generally ran everything exactly the same. It just lowered the resolution between the modes. That was predominantly it. Some of the cutbacks in the quality mode over resolution and vice versa. But generally, there was a much lower difference between the two. Texture filtering, texture quality, and details overall was lower on the Series X than the PS5. And resolution on average in all the modes was lower aside the 120 fps mode where on average it appeared to be slightly higher on the series x than it was on the ps5 but moving over to the 2.0 version you can see a change it's a significant change there's less geometry less draw they've changed the way they're drawing the ground overall they've reduced the tessellation they've reduced the geometry here you can see the series x has less ambient occlusion less shadows and shadow map quality slightly lower resolution but generally they're much much closer now if the ps5 slightly has more draw but the filtering and the text quality is different and the tessellation is reduced here as i zoom in again you can see there's it's much closer but the background the ps5 is better and that's because the Series X still uses VRS. So you can see it here on the ground where the quality of the textures are lower. Look at the back of the writing on the cars between the two. Look at the writing above the car. Look at that carbon fibre mud guide above the back wheel. You can see the difference in the Codemaster sign. It's much lower quality because the Series X uses VRS. You can see this on the ground as I zoom in. You can see on the Series X, there's like a blur. The, the ground is blurrier. It's softer and the PS5 is sharper and cleaner. Look as I pause it. Uh, and that's because they're probably using almost like a radial blur around the edge of the screen, the VRS, to, to actually reduce that level and slightly soften it to reduce the image. That's what it looks like to me. But generally, the PS5 still has the longer draw distance, the sharper textures, and the better filtering off into the distance. But it's much closer between them now. And the assets and the materials I covered in my previous video are now on par. And therefore, you don't get all those cutbacks that you got before. You can see the back of the car, the filtering and the quality of the materials are now identical Shadow maps are almost identical as well, and LOD is absolutely identical. Everything pops in at the same point. So there's a change, and that's probably because they've made changes behind the scenes to improve the engine. But generally, that means that it now holds 120 FPS, better than it did before. It tears less often on the PS5, vastly. This version seems to only adaptively tear at the top section now, the PS5. So now it only tears, tears at the top section, but it drops frames more often. Whereas the Series X and the Series S still tear across the entire screen, but it tears much less on the Series X than it did before. It tears less on the Series S as well. So it holds 120 FPS much better. Aside the bug that's now cropped up in the PS5, see here there's a lot of this vertex lighting. It looks like the actual ground's been burnt on the PS5, uh, and sometimes these areas can cause dips on the PS5. And then you can also get like blown out sections on the PS5 where the, the, the gamut's too bright and it's all the nits level's just too high and the screen gets blown out and then it comes back again. And then there's some points where you're driving through tunnels and there's no shadows, no lighting, no bloom at all on the Series X and there is on the PS5. And, and some of it might be calculations to try and improve performance, some of it might be bugs, I don't know, but there's definitely changes here, and they're not all for the better, and generally, the PS5 can have more issues now than it did in the older version, which is why I'm saying I don't think everyone was wrong when they said that was an issue. It generally does, if it's going to stutter randomly, it will do it on the PS5 now, where it didn't do it before, and as you can see, visually, there are some tweaks and changes. You'll see one again later on, where I'm going through the tunnel, and it doesn't look the same there either. 
but the same tracks as before that that impacted both machines still impact both machines. It's slightly better here overall in the 120 FPS mode to the Series X to the PS5, but it's very very close between them. You wouldn't really notice it, and overall. It's a much, much closer comparison between these two consoles as you would expect. Certainly the changes look to be optimizations to get more out of the hardware and improve performance. They don't look like bugs, they look like genuine optional changes and the quality mode is now much, much closer which I'll cover a little later in the video before I go to the Series S and cover that. But the performance deficit you sometimes see, you'll see it here on the PS5, it will judder in that section in the 60fps mode which it doesn't do on the Series X. So, like I say, there is a little bit of an impact. Not a massive one, it's only on certain tracks, but there's a definitely a slight impact to PS5 players that you don't get on the Series X. So, hopefully Codemasters can go back and fix those little areas where they've made changes and that sometimes has come at the impact on the PS5, whereas before it didn't have those issues. <laughs> things they seem to have done in the 120 fps mode on the series x is they've added a sharpening filter you can see it here so there's certainly a slightly sharper look on the series x than there is on the ps5 in that same mode so now things look sharper but you can see the details lost in some of the textures again so the vrs is kicking in on this grease map you can see as i look at the ground here and zoom in you can see the filter in the background is cleaner and longer on the ps5 but the actual detail on the ground isn't as sharp but look at the haloing and that ghosting around the edge of thin objects in the background and the shimmer and it's slightly highlighted on the Series X because it's using that sharpening filter. But again, when you zoom in, look at the ground, the back of the car, look at the Ford badge, the Fiesta logo, even the rear lights, they're all blurry and twinkle and move around more because of VRS. Uh, and the average here is somewhere around 1600 by 900 and 1080p between both versions. It comes out more often than not at 1080p on both, so... That's just look at the draw. Maybe it was it was lower last time. Maybe they've improved it on PS5. But generally, the 120 FPS mode is almost identical now. You get slightly sharper image quality on the Series X. Uh, you get better texture quality and details on the PS5. And performance is good. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you'll see on this grease level as we go into the tunnel on both versions, you'll see that the Series X has hardly any shadows, any ambient occlusion, and no lights turned on in the tunnel. And then when you come out, it's very flat. There's no bloom, that eye adaption, that overblown lighting that goes from dark to light. It is on the PS5, but I think the PS5's got a bug because it seems to do that more often, so I think that's a bug. I think there's something wrong there in terms of the fact that it highlights it and blows out the image occasionally too much on the PS5 and it is on the Series X. So there's definitely little bits they can still tweak. But overall, the 120 FPS mode is almost identical as I've already covered. And the quality mode comes out the same way. So you still get the same quality between both versions, but you get redu reduction in texture filtering, reduction in texture quality overall. The details are better and cleaner. Uh, much, much closer in the quality mode, but it's definitely better on the PS5. Same areas here, you can see it here. And then average resolution is still slightly better on the PS5. So it comes out on the same section here as we start right at the very beginning. It's 2560 by 1440 uh, for the Series X, and it's 2880 by 1620 for the PS5 on this particular section as the cars load in. Just before this, they both hit 3200 by 1800, and that tends to be where they top out in this mode. It can still hit 4K. More often than not, that's, that's, it hovers around that 1800p target. Uh, it might reconstruct back to 4K in this mode, never actually hit it, I don't know, but reconstruction is very, very good in the engine. The things sit still for a couple of frames, it looks much, much better. So their reconstruction techniques are brilliant. And then the Series S actually has improvements as well. So that's been improved both in performance, you've just seen, but also the image quality has now been enhanced, so it's now much closer to what it was before. Uh, and you can see the rest of this through this video, and I'll stop talking. You can see the rest of the comparisons between both versions and the Series S and how much better it now looks. It still does has, has reduction in geometry in the 120 FPS mode. It's got less tessellation, much less LOD. Uh, shadow maps are much lower quality. So you can see the impact now. It looks consistent with what you would expect between that and the Series X. There's definitely a deficit now. But it runs better for it. It runs more consistently at 60 and 120, and it looks much better in that quality mode now, as you can see on the ground. So overall, it's a massive improvement for Xbox players. They really have done their work here and improved that. So well done to Codemasters. I will be tweeting them and asking them for a response on 
what's gone on with some of the changes to the tessellation in the ground and the PS5. Hopefully I'll get a response. Maybe you'll see it on my Twitter account. Maybe you won't. But if I do find out, I will update the video. But generally, my suspicion is they've just made optimizations to the engine. That's improved it. And therefore, we get a better looking game and a better performing game overall. And obviously, sometimes when you make these changes, it comes at the wins and the loss of certain areas in the engine overall. But... Like I say, there are a couple of issues now that the PS5 has that it didn't have before, but it's still arguably slightly better than the Series X, but there really isn't a lot in it. You can dive in, enjoy it, and play it, and that 120 FPS mode really works well in terms of input times. Even if you can't notice the delta between 60 and 120, it's great that the option is there. And it's still a hell of a lot of fun. I think the game, the Arcade Racer in Dirt 5, is great fun, it's enjoyable, and there's a lot of content here. So it's now even cheaper than ever, like I said last time. And maybe if you've got a few quid, you can pick it up from online or from a store. Anyway, I'm out. Hopefully you guys and girls enjoy this. Remember, I do this all on my own. I'm a one-man band, completely self-funded and independent. So, again, if you can, share, like, subscribe. That really, really helps. Cannot stress how much subscribing helps. And if you can, any couple of pounds or dollars you can throw my way via Patreon really, really helps. Because, again, I'm looking to improve my quality in 2021 and really try and drive this channel to do a lot more from it. But unfortunately, it's very hard when you've got a full-time job and everything else. Anyway, I'm out, but I'll catch you very soon on the next one.